Hey guys, it's Denise, and today we are going to check out the League of Legends Champions and Pre-Season 2023 announcement that they released recently. I'm very interested in seeing what's going on. Um, I hope that champions I like get uh, uh, get boosted a little bit and some uh, assassins get nerfed. I'm I don't want stop with the dashes. I just I just need them to stop dashing fucking everywhere. Like, please, it's so fast. Like it's too fast now. And then if they do anything with like drinks then I feel like that might change like the whole entire fucking game. I hope that nothing's as broken as Chemtech. <laughs> uh, but we'll see what happens uh, with the video, so let's get into it. I had monitor on and output on, so it was echoey to me. I got hey it. everyone, I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, lead producer of Gameplay on League. You might remember me from all those champion roadmaps, but today, for reasons I can't even fathom, they put me in front of a camera again to talk about all of League this time. So buckle up as I dive into some of the champions we have in development. New champs, After okay. That, I'm gonna pass the metaphorical mic over to Riot Froxon, who is gonna talk to you about the recent durability update as well as our plans for preseason. I'm excited to see how this goes because League so Esports has been kinda dying, so I need some, this year, some new things to it. Let's take a quick it. look back at the champions we've released in 2022 so far. Oh boy. First we had the speedy ABC Zeri. God. Then the girl boss, Renata Glass. After that, the Void Empress herself, Belva. Was broken. I think still is broken. And then most recently, the joyful Neela. <laughs> She's also pretty And just around crazy. the corner, we have the Udir VGU, complete oh, with a yeah. dad bod worthy of the Freljordian gods. Udir's development has been a long journey. Forgot about that. Especially since he's been the first VGU that we've done that's had an ultimate skin. That's cool. We appreciate you all cool. being patient with us on this one, and hopefully the wait has been worth it. Well, I love the effects on that skin. So in addition to the new champions we've released this year, we've also been shipping a lot of mid-scope updates to various champions, including Janna, Ari, the Swain, Ari update Talia, is so good. Olaf, and recently I loved Sever. it. Because we slowed down the release of new champions, we've had a bit more time to ship smaller updates to champions on the roster that have fallen behind the pack. So the goal of Midscope updates isn't to reimagine a champion's visuals, theme, or gameplay. It's just to give them That's up reserved to for VGs. Our, you know? Instead, we want to freshen up champions that aren't living up to the expectations of the players who love them. We try to strengthen their fantasy even more, rather than reinvent it. So for Swain, we pushed his fantasy of an unkillable frontline mage to the max. And for Ari, we focused on her fantasy of a mobile mage rather than the assassin she had become. I like that. We saw really great responses to these projects as well as healthy play rate spikes after their release. Given all of this, we want to keep pursuing mid-scope updates. And we already have a few champions we're exploring, including Nico <gasps> and Syndra. Nico, let's go! Yes! So now Who's let's talk about some me, projects Chad. I've been super excited to share with you. So later this year, we have a new top lane tank hailing from Shurima, who I briefly mentioned right. in the last Champion Roadmap. This new champion will introduce a part of Shurima that we haven't explored I'm not yet. that big into lore, city except for Arcane. of Nizuma. So... I'm not too... Now, Nizuma is an oasis city-state <laughs> in the southern outskirts of the desert. And okay. unlike the rest of Shrima, they don't bow to his ear. Situated on one of the only water sources for miles, the people of Nizuma had to compete uh -huh. with giant monsters. The men of Runeterra have been ditching shirts, ayo. It was a hard-fought struggle. Ayo. <laughs> the oasis as their own. What is that headline? Now, 500 years later, okay. this new champion leads okay. the okay. warriors of Nizuma to hunt company. those same monsters. How do you get it? Using the rare resources of the game to build down. their infrastructure and weapons. The he actually okay, fought one of the largest monsters the desert has ever known, creating his unique Entofos out of its rare regenerating hide. Entofos are huge Can I see weapons at can least a little bit of this man's design? But at any moment, or this person's he can design? shatter them revealing carefully crafted blades 
capable of tearing through any foe in seconds. I already have Soon sort of an idea of what this guy looks like, but I just, I just so want to see like, it. Bludgeon the crap out of you. It's honestly quite impressive to see. Okay, but can I see it? But you don't have to take my word for it. Oh. The entire city state is basically permanently impressed by him. I thought he was gonna say I mean, it. I'll show Kisanta, you. Fuck. The pride of Nizuma. You don't get Kisanta. that title for nothing. So after Kasanti, we will be releasing sorry. the highly anticipated Aurelian Soul CGU. To remind everybody, a CGU needed. or comprehensive gameplay update Very much needed. is a new type of update we are testing out on Aurelian Soul. So the goal is to completely reimagine Asol's gameplay without changing his visuals or narrative at all. Since let's be honest, those aspects of Aurelian Soul are still amazing, even by today's standards. Yeah, Asol's lore is actually really cool. Less talking, even Mr. Reed, more much action. About and by the... action, we mean videos. Yeah, give me that. Okay, fine. Twist my arm a little bit more, Will. Okay, but I was saying, uh, Asol, like, I don't know much about League lore, I only know based off of like character interactions and games and like reading a little bit and maybe like events and stuff. But Asol's lore is honestly probably one of the fucking coolest ideas ever. And I'm glad they're not completely changing him, but he very much needs that update. Asol is just a champ that's never picked nowadays. So hopefully they'll pick him back up. Will you? Now keep in mind. The visuals are still a work in progress. One of the goals was to enhance his dragon theme. And what do dragons do? Fire. Well, they breathe fire, of course. Ooh. Aesol's new Q allows him to breathe fire Whoa. for as long as he has managed That's to That's a press and hold, okay. But let's not forget the other thing dragons do, fly. Do his it. new W allows him to take to the sky. He goes over But this now. time, he doesn't have to walk in a straight line for like, ever. Oh, thank God. He can now fly with the push of a button. But really, let's be honest. I hate, I hate the straight line. He's a dragon. It's hard and if to there's one with. thing more iconic than either flying or breathing fire, it's flying while breathing fire. Oh my gosh, finally. Which you can do by combining his Q and W. Wait, he can we be a jungler it. now. <laughs> so after Aurelian Soul, we have a champion. Because he can, like, I guess it d just depends on his, his clear and his damage and how fast he can get into position but like ideally you can just fly around the camps queuing uh queuing camps and then like fly over and then do a gank and then fly back and do your camps again i feel like it's much more mobile it's much more easier to pick up and it will deal more damage and I've been literally dying to talk to you about. One of the things the League community hounds me about constantly is wanting to see more Darken champions. Oh boy. Darken fans are like, throw me a freaking bone here. And believe you me, I'm right there with you, barking for some Darken. Then one night at around 2.34 a.m., uh -huh. I woke up in a fever sweat. Right. And at that moment, it hit me. I'm on the champions team. No if I want more Darken, I can just talk to the team about it. And gosh dang it, I did just that. Yeah. And the team was like, heck yeah, we want more Darken as well. We love Darken. So yeah, long story short, we're making a new Darken assassin. But why an assassin? So I know what you're gonna ask next. What's the weapon? Each Darken is trapped in some super awesome weaponry. Please tell us what it is, we must know. What is a weapon? And while I love watching you all squirm beneath my intricate yet vague champion roadmap teasers, I'm not gonna be that cruel today. He's gonna tell us? The weapon's like the coolest part about Darken after all. Okay, tell us. So this one was actually entrapped in a dagger, which is now okay. a Darken dagger, of course, because that's how that works. Okay, yes. I guess because yeah, they're an assassin, like. so they're gonna use Ooh, dagger. So edgy, so dark. Look at the eye. That's and as sick. to who or what got a hold of these daggers, well, you'll just have to wait and find out. Okay. Another thing a lot like of people that. have been asking to see progress on is the R. And Darken State. That we announced Darken the staff start. or the mage. <laughs> well, the ASU team has been hard at work and is ready to share some art. Ooh like the final composition seen here. Nice. The base version is close to complete, and the team is super excited to show you some of the progress on how she's looking in-game. She looks pretty good. Look at all those sweet polygons. And here's a sneak peek of her updated VFX. 
Oh, I Ari like still that. has a ton of skins that also need to be updated. So she still needs a little more time in the Foxfire oven okay. before we can get her in your hands. But you can expect to see her sometime early next We're year. We're gonna get back on the Ari grind So that's about it chat. for champion news. Though I will leave you with one small thing. On top of wanting a new Darkin, we've seen a lot of players asking us to expand on Ixtal. Mm. We've also heard you asking for us to make a male enchanter. That is also very well, much I say, necessary. Why not both? I'm happy to say we have right now, in very early development, okay. a new male enchanter from Ixtal. That's interesting. The new champion will show a very different side to Ixtal, far from the lavish palaces Kiana grew up in. Okay. So take a look at this art teaser that the team working on and put together. Wait, they're so Oh cute. my God, they're so adorable. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's enough cuteness for now. Wait, so, so does he have promised, like little fire pyro buddies? On the champion durability update and preseason. Okay. Gameplay, this is the really big important part. We're gonna see how this hey game everyone. works out. I'm Matthew Long Harrison, AKA Riot Froxon. All right, Froxon. Lead game let's... designer on the Summoner's Reef Let's team. go, let's go. We work on things like balancing the game, in-game systems like the durability update and items, and preseason. I've got a few things to cover today, so let's jump right into it. A few patches ago, we launched the champion durability update. Yeah. Our did. goal was to increase the durability and reduce the damage and healing of every champion in League. We've been closely monitoring the results, and after some targeted adjustments, we're really happy with where the update landed. Yeah, I think it's better now. Before it was A lot of you have mentioned how much really you like the update, and that it feels good to have fights last longer right? with more chances for skill expression. And we're glad that it helped make League feel fresher. That said, we don't have plans to make changes of this size outside of preseason in the future, unless it's really necessary. I think that's fair. I think what it we don't works want well is for far. huge changes like this to disrupt League's competitive integrity, especially in the middle of the season. Speaking of which, let's talk about our plans for preseason. All right. Tell me, tell me. Similar to last year, we're making more targeted changes to various systems. Our multi-year goal is to bring everything in League up to modern is standards before doing updates on the scale of Runes Reforged, Elemental Rift, or the item update again. So for this preseason, we're updating systems including communication and vision, oh, okay. making the jungle more exciting and accessible, That's and bringing nice back you. a familiar foe. Oh, no, don't fucking Our tell me. Our communication system is showing its age, especially in comparison to some of our other games. So we're giving it some much needed attention with new features that'll make it easier to communicate with your team and walk away with the win. Okay. To that, we're expanding our in-game ping system to allow for better communication with your team. That is actually the current system such a wonderful only lets idea. you share very basic communications. And while we appreciate your ingenuity with the limited pings you have, <laughs> we wanted to give you more opportunity for clearer communication. Uh, wonderful question mark. Pings. The updated pings will include everything oh. you already know and love, plus expanded vision options okay. and a call to engage. I like that. We're also Wait, go back, go back, go back. Okay. I like that. However, comma, I want colors. Can we get colors in on this? It's going to be hard if there are no colors for me to discern what's being pinged very fast. Um, but, oh, oh my gosh, I also realized I like how they still have the four main ones. So, Danger is still top, Assist is still bottom, I'm Going There is still to the right, and Enemy Missing is still to the left, or On My Way is still to the right. And then they have, what was it again? Clearer communication. The updated pings Engage, assist me, harass, enemy missing. Uh, we'll include everything you already know and love, plus expanded vision options. Freeze. Freeze the wave? Wow. That's a, that's a great one. So like freeze, I'm coming over or something like that. Oh. And a call to engage. Danger, push, yeah, We're push into tower. I like that. I like that. With teammates. Plan macro strategy for objectives. Because we also like... We're not Valorant. We don't have voice chat unless you're already in a party set up before you go into queue. So that's like we need better ping system rather than just 
like typing because typing takes fucking forever and we can't just talk to each other during the game so you know we have to have a better way of communication i like this i like this a lot and keep track of where pings are on the map even if they're off your screen oh wow in addition to the changes to communication we're making some small improvements to the vision system as it's a bit outdated okay it's not super okay. clear that you can swap vision trinkets and it's definitely not clear how you can best utilize them to that we're exploring ways to make vision trinkets more intuitive you'll be able to see how many wards you have on the map and preview where they'll go when placing them in walls. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because for some reason they don't do that. Another Should focus this year thing, is so the jungle. We know it's often a highly stressful role where you need heaps of knowledge to be baseline proficient. That's why I don't play jungle. There's a lot riding on junglers as they're often the backbone of the team's strategy while sometimes getting unjustly flamed. So we're looking to make some changes to make jungling more intuitive and to help alleviate some of its more painful parts. Okay. Our first That's change nice, is improving buff sharing. Donating buffs to your laners is an important part of being a jungler, mm -hmm. but it feels bad to lose the gold, experience, and bonuses they provide. We're exploring a bunch of things to make this more painless to junglers, like oh, buffs like leaving that. behind a little friend that also has a buff and a few other potential directions. We're also looking at ways of improving jungle camp patience. I feel like maybe like a little buddy that gives like a smaller mod or or maybe just giving maybe you do shared gold and shared experience maybe. I don't know. I feel like that's a good idea because a lot of times I'm like, can I get blue buff? And then they're like, no, I'm behind in jungle. I need the blue buff. I'm like, but fuck, I'm behind in lane and I need the blue buff. So, you know. The goal of this change is to make it so you don't get overly punished by accidentally pulling camps too far. You shouldn't have to know exactly oh, what gosh, pixel yeah, to that, stand that's on to do red buff at the same time without one resetting. So we're making changes that will make it less punishing when that happens. We know some junglers like to hyper-optimize their clears, mm -hmm. and we want that knowledge to be rewarded. We'll still keep unique, optimal clears for different champions, like Kane starting Raptors and Shaco doing whatever it is he does. <laughs> All this said, we're not trying to make mastering jungle easier, but we do want to make it easier to start jungling. I like we that. still want you to be rewarded for taking the time to master your role and champions. Make it more accessible for people that don't take away the complexity of it. You know, if you make it too simple, then that won't keep people playing because they won't have anything to improve on. But making it not as scary for new players is a really big deal. I like that. There are some other improvements we're exploring for the jungle, but it's still too early to share more. So we'll check back in later. No! Why? The final preseason change <gasps> we want to talk about uh! today is the long-awaited return of everyone's favorite Drake. Favorite! The Chemtech Drake. Favorite! While we're bringing Chemtech Drake back from the dead, Fuck. <laughs> she won't bring you back from the dead anymore. Oh, okay, that's better, I guess. Instead, the new and improved Chemtech Soul grants more damage and damage reduction when you're low health. And when the Chemtech Drake we'll takes over the rift, means. the plants on the map mutate and become empowered. For example, Scry's Bloom will grant movement speed when moving towards revealed enemies, and Blast Cone will take you further than ever before, like from wow, okay, that's to crazy. Midland. We still have other plans for preseason. Bro, I don't know, man. Chemtech Drake was so overpowered. I hated it so much. I don't I don't know how to feel. Oh, I guess we'll just we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, dear God. Including why? the usual updates and tweaks to items and runes. And we'll share more information about our plans for these and everything we discussed today as we get close to preseason. Okay. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think about everything you heard. I'll hand things back to Reeve to say goodbye. Thanks, Roxon. So as you can see, we have a lot of exciting things in development. And as always, I've had a blast finally sharing all this cool stuff the team has been working on with all of you. Wait. I'm excited for some things. Uh -huh. Oh, more? Yeah. More? So I'm hearing that there is one last thing I we knew forgot it. to show I fucking you knew it. I was like, why would you, you bring it back to You remember the skin him? line you voted for at the beginning of the year, <gasps> right? I think it was the gothic skin line revamp. Well, our skins team has been hard at work reimagining that skin line, and they really want to share a bit of it with you now. Okay, tell me, so tell me. So it's time for me to say goodbye. Bye. And time for all of you to see some sweet concept art for the new Fright Night skin. And those are releasing Halloween probably, right? Oh, that's so nice looking.
Oh my gosh. That's Halloween Town. That's just fucking Halloween Town. I love it. I love it. It's Halloween Town. <laughs> oh my gosh, Voyage, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Wait, does that mean? Oh no. <laughs> does that mean that we hit we hit 500? Oh dear. Oh boy. <laughs> You know what that means? I'm playing Jump King tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I gotta download that after stream today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I think I'm really excited about some of the reworks that they're doing with Champions Eye, particularly like, um, I'm liking the visual updates so far. That kind of scares me, to be honest. Uh, we'll see what happens.